Well, hello, boys and girls. You want to get fat? I know I do. I want to get fat with a fat dragon. And this one is beautiful. Time Ascus inserts. Time Ascus thumb discs. Light but large. It is a long, long knife. Let's do that first because we've got about a nine inch knife on our hands. And is that four inches? Pretty much all day long, I'd say about eh, 100 to 105 millimeters, depending on where you want to measure it. Not quite nine inches, 8.8 .8 at uh, 22 and a half centimeters. When you get over 21 and a half, you're starting to approach big. When you get over 22, 22 and a half, you got yourself a knife. And that one is a beautiful one right there. Check it out. Look at the Timascus there. It would have been nice had they done um, either a Timascus set of screws up here or, you know, some titanium screws that were anodized. That would have been really nice. It would have been a real finishing touch. D fairly deep carry pocket clip. See that? Okay. But no screws shown here because it's coming in from the inside. We'll take this apart. Next. Yes, you can reverse that. Then lanyard hole built in or lanyard area built into that, that backspacer. See the backspacer? It's suspended. But then all of a sudden you notice, why did they put these slots in here? Anybody heard of tritium? So that would be interesting, wouldn't it? You could put tritium there and there. And then you could put tritium here and here. Where else? Those are the ones that hit me right off the bat. Anything up here? Eh, nah, nah. But there's, so four tritium bars, that'd be like, $50 worth of tritium right there if you could get them for 12 a piece But yeah, you can flip it to the other side. That's not too obtuse Some of you might wanted to have preferred to have a cover plate if you were going to do that or no left hand available at all But yes, they did make it available on the left hand. So you get this out of the light it just depends on where you are It'll look just kind of dull and caramel colored but then you get it in the light and there she goes. And that baby is lit up. S110V, as it says right here, CPM S110V at 61 HRC. Is it really? Don't know. Gonna have it checked. Yes, I am. And I'll have the XRF analyzer gun, PMI gun, do its job on this. And we'll find out real quick. But if I had to put money on it right now, I'd bet yes it is. Because the death silent one in the Fat Dragon Death Silent in carbon fiber with M390 we did test and it was M390 and the HRC was actually pretty good 60 61 somewhere in there there's the rest of your billboarding Black Iron Cavalry so that's the model here it's the Black Iron Cavalry and you get it in a box like this so this is pretty cool nice hard plastic case and what the hell is this uh, I don't know. So there you go. You get your little tag with it. The Black Iron Cavalry. Um, nothing else? That was it? Well, I got it. You know, I, it was a viewer and, and a person that has messaged me on Instagram before. And he sent me a picture of this and says, Wow, I was thinking about getting this, but do you think it's real? Uh, S110V and I go uh, I don't know I don't have one but I can test one and uh, so I don't know if he ever ordered it uh, but because he was afraid it might not have been real S110 I go I reminded him that yes the one we tested was real M390 so if I had to lay money on it I would say yes it is uh, but we will find that out and then I'll get an HRC on here except I'll have to remove the blade to do that unless he can test here might have to take the thumb stud off to do that see what i'm saying because you need a flat spot to get that wow design's nice 
design flows, and blade to handle length. Oh, it's all there. That's good. You can actually flick it out with these, with the fuller, with the groove there, like that. And you'd think, well, this isn't very good detent, but, or it's too light, but I can't fail it. I've tried to fail it like a dozen times. And I haven't been able to fail it yet. I can kick it open like that. So it's hard for me to do better than a 5.0 on my scale. See, I can kick that open fairly easy. So a 4.8 to a 5.0 as far as detent. So not overly strong necessarily, but it's holding it enough to where that blade comes flying out. Okay. Uh, 0 0.15, we're getting close to 4, 3.8 millimeters. Let's see the overall 12.7, so that's not much. 0.49, it's fairly thin. What's the weight? Hundred and thirty grams. That's not super light, but it's definitely not considered heavy, not for what it is. And mm, four point six ounces. That's not bad. I'd say that's pretty much in a sweet spot for a knife this length. Titanium, Timascus, three point eight millimeter blade stock. Yeah, I I think that's pretty reasonable actually. Yeah, we'll take this apart, kind of check it out. But it looks, I'm going to be interested in seeing if, if it's got ceramic uh, bearings or whatever else. But it looks pretty well done. The hardware looks nice. The pocket clip is nice. Fairly deep carry, like I said before. Eh, yeah, I mean, you might be getting into things here because of the pattern of that Timascus inlay. But I've carried it a couple of times and I didn't really notice it that much. So, hmm, uh, nah, but I was so probably puffed up full of, look at me, <laughs> or my knife at least, uh, thinking, no, nah, I, I didn't really notice it. Although, you know, my genes are a testament of uh, getting pretty massacred by a lot of different pocket clips. So they're pretty tattered already. But yeah, I mean, that is, Ooh, yeah, tritium, tritium. Next thought, tritium. Put that in there. That'd be uh, that'd be pretty incredible, actually. Ergos, yeah. Reverse grip, yeah. Uh, there's plenty of room on here. It's fairly neutral. Kind of this little weird palm swell here, and you know, see how these are. There's there's traction there. Uh, but I mean, I don't like when it kind of goes down, it narrows down here. Although it's hitting me right in here, which really I'm not feeling. So at least I've got that going for it. Uh, you can go forward a bit here cause there's that flat spot here and will it cut anything? Okay. So far so good. Yeah, it's pretty reasonable. Yeah, where's my balance point? Oh, okay, we're good. Not bad at all. Yeah, it feels good. It feels fairly light, especially for what it is. Let's put something out here that we can compare to the paramilitary three. That's small. I don't have much on the table to compare to. Uh, my Vexer is always sitting out here for some reason. That's a big, huge knife. This is a huge knife. So we're sitting right there. I mean, we're very comparable to that. So, yeah, I mean, I got this on... AliExpress, I don't know if I really explained that, but you know, 
My buddy Mike Hagman in Tampa, Florida, he knows a guy in China that, I mean, he's just gotten to know because he's bought knives on AliExpress and stuff like that. So he gave me his name and introduced me. And so then I've contacted him several times and bought knives, not very often, but this time I saw this knife because my Instagram uh, friend messaged me and asked me about it. And when I saw it, I just go, wow, that's stunning. And Fat Dragon really is of an interest to me. And so, you know, I bought the, the NOC MT-09 along with it because I wanted to get a couple knives. If he's going to DHL, you know, and pay 35, 40 bucks, DHL Express. So you want to put a couple of things in that package and I know I do. So every time I order from him, I'm going to order two knives minimum, maybe three or four, but this is not inexpensive, right? It's $308. So uh, you can get a lot of different knives for that, but show me one for 308 Of course, I didn't pay that for it because I barter on the price. Otherwise, I'd just go into a store and just pay it straight out. But no, if you want to order two or three or whatever, then you start, you know, you start bartering with them. Uh, and it's really, wow, this was worth it. This was worth it. I mean, at least you get enough off the knife to pay for the DHL, right? So that that makes it that makes it worth it right there. But this is a beautiful knife. Well, let's see what we're going to do here. Uh, I don't know which side to come out with. And it's all turning both ways. Well, let's see what we can do here. Which way are we breaking it loose from? You know, it's got plastic on it, so it doesn't hurt the the titanium but yet you can still stabilize it on one side so that's definitely a demerit that they have oh, i'll push it through from this side definitely a demerit that they didn't put a d-shaped pivot in here now let's take a look at this okay that's kind of gritty looks to be now are these number eights Pop that. Okay. I mean, they're solid, but they're not unforgiving. Okay. So these look the same length. So we're good there. Now, this should come apart, and man, it does. It just falls apart. Okay. I wonder if you can push that insert out of here. Sure looks like you can, doesn't it? Uh, ceramic bearings. Eh, it's reasonably clean. And there's the pivot coming up from the back. And it looks like there's little... Looks like there's little holes in here where maybe you could push that insert out. So maybe that is possible. Of course, there's your backspacer. And that comes off real easy. And of course, there's where your pocket uh, clip screws in from. So you can take that out and flip sides with it. I mean, you push up from the bottom here. See what I'm saying? There you go. Uh, there's some uh, something holding it in here. I don't know what that is. It looks like two sided tape or something. Something very mild as far as an adhesive. 
probably leaving it up to you to decide how you want to handle that if you want to do you know this would be nice with a gold anode job don't you think so I mean taking this out which it doesn't come out easily <laughs> once I put it back in but it doesn't take much to hold it you might want to uh, if you're done playing with it you might actually want to put a little stronger type of adhesive in here but it fits in pretty tight, so. Well, let's put it back together. Put our washer back in here. We brought this from the back. Too bad it's not a D shape, but it is a one piece pivot. It's pretty heavy duty. Here we go. Okay, let's try this. And we can put the washer right on top of here so it doesn't fall out when we put this through. And while I got this in place, let's do this. Let's put my stop back in. Are we good? I don't know what to think about the adhesive holding the inserts in. Uh, actually, I kind of like it because you can remove it and you can anodize it. Later, you could put a stronger adhesive on there for these uh, to, to stay put. And uh, that would, you know, to your liking. But the fact that they left it to where you can easily remove these inserts and do what you want, I, I think it's a plus myself rather than putting a super strong adhesive where you just can't get these out. Okay, we got her back together. She's looking all fired up. And uh, oh, it lays right down, doesn't it? No blade play. It's centered up. Pretty fair. Ooh, yeah. I like it. I like it for what it is. Real good. It's very, very showy. All right, buddies. I'm going to let you go. Fat Dragon, even left-handed, it's nice. You know we do. We love that knife. Especially that one. See you guys. Stay sharp.